Hi you guys, Amy Bathbomb at it. So we're going to be painting this beautiful Santa together. So I'm wanting him to look really natural. So there's going to be no real bright colours and stuff like that on him. I want him to look as natural as possible. And by what I've done so far, you probably won't even tell at this stage that I've done anything. And I will just run through what I've done so far because we're going to be doing the video step by step. Um, as I do it, I will download a bit more and... Um, I will try and add them even together, maybe, we'll see. But so, so far, his beard and his moustache, under his hat here and on the rim of his hat, you'll probably be able to see, now I've told you, that is it, it's like a greyish off-white colour. So that just creates definition. So... All of like the airs and stuff like that I have gone over all this area here and I have used titanium dioxide which is white and I have added a tiny little bit of activated charcoal just to give it that off-white grey colour and then I mean I, I'll do a little bit now even though I have done him it doesn't really matter You can see there on my hand it is white but Emily just off white because I I wanted that sort of natural beard look dirty look and I wanted to wanted it to highlight some of the definition just to make him pop so what I've done I've gone under where you would normally see shading gone under these areas um, you can see that that's darker there, look. So we've gone over that. Right there. I've done his bobble on his hat. All his beard. So all of these bits that stand out, it just makes them stand out that little bit more. And we haven't finished by no means. This is just the very first layer, the very first step. And you might not even see it that good on video, but it's just making like, it just makes the detail pop out and look more 3D. And you can go crazy and add a little bit too much um, of the activated charcoal. So just add the tiniest little bit and see how you feel. I've got another broken bit of bath bomb here which I do little bits of testing on to see and that before you go putting your paintbrush to your bomb that's what you want to do really. So it's just going over this bit for the first stage. So I've already done that. So this is like the second layer. So like follow where the airs are, go underneath where you would get natural shading Follow lines round where you would normally see it darker, where the shading would be. Underneath things like there. Underneath his hat, like I showed you. The very top of his hat. And then any other little darker areas. Any other areas like the bubble and stuff. It just, if it looks like a one coloured white, like your bath bomb mix, it just doesn't look as real. Now I am no means... A expert in painting with mics and stuff but to be honest I have done this now and I'm doing it I've done an angel but apart from that I only really paint with mica for detail I'm into my spraying really so this is a bit new to me so fingers crossed that it looks good so yes yeah, so I've done that so I mean, I'll decide at the end, I might even give it one more coat and add the tiniest little bit more black, just in parts. So like under there, I'll probably go over it again and add a tiny bit more dark, just so it looks that tiny bit darker. Probably not there, I added enough there. But yes, I'll probably do that and it'll just make it pop that little bit more. So once you've done that, so you can see very minor changes you don't want it in your face you want it to look natural so then for the face um, I have painted 
some natural French clay and I have got a dry paintbrush I have added nothing I've not added no rubbing alcohol to it with a dry paintbrush I have gone right over his cheek now this is just the first layer go over the cheeks make his end of his nose places like that just to make that detail stand out like round the nose area around the eye sockets under the rim of the hat and you just for the first layer you just want a very light dusting and you rub with your paintbrush into all them areas his little mouth his cheeks I will probably um, add a little bit of pink maybe just at the end to give him some rosier cheeks I will add some rubbing alcohol to this and just make it more darker this pink clay under the rim of the hat and stuff like that where you would naturally see that darker in real life if it was you know like the shading from his hat the shadow and stuff like that it'd be a dark color under there um, and I'm just going to keep going with it and adding layer by layer and hope he turns out well so I'm going to do his hat later on today um, we're going to do his eyes we're going to do his some blue sparkly eyes I'm going to do shading and stuff under his eyes and stuff um, and yeah so that's what we have so far as you can see you can't really tell much at the minute I can because I'm looking at him but on video you probably won't you'd probably see better on a picture if I took a picture for you but there we go so far so also this grey his eyebrows do them that is a little flick of air, so you want to do that. Um, and we'll do the act next. And then we're going to do a lot more, obviously, on this. His skin still doesn't look like skin yet, but it will by the time we've done with him. Thank you for watching, you guys. Bye. So now we are going to do highlight his cheeks and make his cheeks slightly rosy. So I've already done it, but I'm going to show you. All I've done is I have added a little bit of the Aurora Dyes Bright Red Mica to the pink clay. So this is the same clay that I've done the skin tone in, French pink clay. We've done it with the dry paintbrush. And I have added a little bit of the red mica to the pink clay in here and I've sort of got it to sort of that colour so a tiny little bit and then with a dry brush tap get a little bit on your paintbrush dry tap off the excess and then just with the dry brush and the product just rub until you get that right um, and you can think oh that needs a little bit more um, and go on with another layer that's the good thing about doing it dry because you can build build it up and I wanted a really natural rosy look and when by the time I finished his skin tone this will blend in more because at the minute it's standing out a bit but we're going to blend that into his face with the pink clay um, and blend them cheeks in so we've gone round and then like that I don't want to do too much more there now just wanted that rosy rosy pink cheek look So now I'm moving on to his hat and I have got the bright red mica from Aurora Dyes. Beautiful. Um, I have put it... Um, I haven't actually weighed it out but it's around 1.1 in 10 ml of rubbing alcohol. 99.9% .9 rubbing alcohol. It's a beautiful Christmas red painting on really smooth and I'm going to paint his hat so I've got this thick paintbrush 
which I've got a much finer one um, as I get closer to the rim of his hat and stuff but that's a beautiful Christmas red so this is the first time that I've used it and what we're going to do I'm going to paint it red but I don't want it to look like a block red so around like as I say for the shading again I'm going to add some darker um, maybe a bit bit of activated charcoal black and darken this red up and create some shading which I will do next but yeah what a lovely Christmas red and it has got a kind of a, a shimmer to it which is nice but not too much because I didn't want it too shimmery so I'm glad it's not too shimmery for this in particular anyway it would take me forever if I use the small bit paintbrush to do all of it so I'm just going to with the thick paintbrush do up to it up to the lines well and then move on to the smaller brush but you can tell it's a lovely Christmas red <laughs> 